Hello and welcome to another exciting new episode of the Pen O'Clock News with Esbiri Brown and... Gourmet! Gourmet Pet! <laughs> well, we discuss all kinds of things that might or might not be related to pens. But, but may spark your fancy. They may spark your fancy because they are... Pen related. New. Relevant. Colorful. Excite. Collectible. And wonderful. Shiny. Beautiful. Writing instruments. Great. And the related such. Anyway, uh, let's kick it off with a pen that is actually very pretty. Uh, Omas is releasing a new color in the Paragon and My Lord series, the Arte Italiana series. Uh, it's called London Smoke. And if you picture London Smoke, okay, I haven't been to London, so I guess I can't really talk, so I should just stop talking about picturing it. But if you've had a London Smoke beverage, you can kind of picture the milky, creamy gray color and the the highlights of some warmer bits <laughs> Which, anyway this is kind of what this pen looks like but more magnificent than my horrific description because it's um a mother of pearl finish and uh, it's it's swirly and it's pretty uh i i th based on the pictures that i've seen of it so far it's it's quite lovely it's um, definitely great i thought i would just summarize it key. Um, and it's it's being released for uh, the 90th anniversary of Olmas, which is pretty cool. Yes. I, can, I didn't realize that it's already 90 been years. been in business for a while. Yeah. Oh. Um, anyway, uh, it's it has rhodium trim and 18 karat gold rhodium trim nib. You can get them from Extra Fine and Broad. Uh, they are available, I guess by now it is mid-February by the time this will be launched. Yes. So they should be available now. Should be available at um, a pen retailer near you. Yep. Yeah, um, uh, our images are from uh, La Couronne de Conte, so thank you to uh, them for sharing this information with us. Uh, the Paragon is, depending on what your idea of insanely expensive or not is, 595 euros. The My Lord is 425. Now the My Lord in this case is actually a cartridge converter filler. Fascinating. It's really fascinating. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know why this is the case. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes that's more convenient. But it does, apart from being a smaller pen, it does also drop the price a bit. Yeah. Uh, 5.95 to 4.25 is significantly different, I would say. Uh, but as far as I understand, there will be more nib options available for the Mylord. That's fascinating too. Maybe it's because of the size. Yeah. I don't know. Um, <coughs> so what nib options do we have? Uh, according to La Conon de Con's website, I've got them written down. Extra fine to double broad. Oblique broad, oblique double broad, and stub. Interesting to get obliques. Definitely. You can see so yeah. many obliques. Yeah. And mm. I've not used an Omas oblique nib, but their broad is already quite stubby, so yeah. Yeah. it would be interesting to try out the oblique Definitely. to see how the cut is, uh, but also to try out their stub, because that must be really cool. Any of you have an Omas stub? Maybe you could... Uh, let us know let what me know. you think. Yeah. Uh, all right. Anyway, I'm pretty excited about these two pens because I really like the description of them. But also because um, ever since I have used the Omas Ojiva Alba, and then the My Lord, I I'm gone a little nuts for Omas. Thank you, Omas enablers out there. Over to you. Yes, we're going to have a look at Farney's pens. They are uh, selling the St. Dupont Streamline R. Or is it streamline er? Or is it streamline dash? -er? We will never Ooh. know. But uh, you can get them in fountain pen, ballpoint, rollerball. They are very fascinating. They're black. They are the fountain pen. It's or not... palladium. What? Matte black. black or palladium. Okay, matte black or palladium. Yes, you're correct. And yeah. uh, they come in fine or medium nibs. The fountain pen is not cheap. It's 792 US dollars. Uh, and they're made with a beautiful. Ceramium, uh, they call it ACT. Uh, it's it's advanced ceramium technology. This is written down because I mean honestly, how are we supposed to remember that? Yeah, um, I'm not really sure what that is. I'm no, I don't think I don't think anyone is really sure what that is, and if it actually is a thing. In any case, uh, I I I think I have seen another of Esti Dupont's pen. I think that that 
Armas of Tomorrow pen is also made of that stuff. In any case, it's supposed to be ultra light and really, really strong, if I remember correctly. That's kind of neat. It is, yeah, and it, it, it looks cool. The, it's, it's a nice, nice material. But anyway, uh, these, this is a cartridge converter pen, so for almost $800 you do get a cartridge converter pen. It does have a 14 karat gold nib, but as I said, fine and medium, so not a whole bunch of options. And it is uh, presented with, I have to say, a very cool stand. I think this is part of the excitement yeah. of it. I think Esti Dupont is very uh, good at that kind of stuff. They also had this the presentation train is one, super cool. Had one sort yeah. of a train model yeah. that you can put your pen on. When the pen actually becomes part of the train, it's very cool. Yeah. This is a, a car, so it's a car you put in your desk, you put the pen in. It's just all with shiny black lacquer. It looks very, very cool, but of course an expensive pen. But, I mean, if you like Esti Dupont, or you like collecting fountain pens, or, or you cars. like cars, this is pretty awesome for you, I would or say. Or interesting desk stands. Or, uh, or interesting, interesting uh, fountain pen materials. Some people like the Homo sapiens because of the lava, and they thought that was interesting. I think that's interesting, too. Uh, advanced ceramium technology sounds interesting as well. You know, whatever that is. That's cool. Have you, have you ever put black lacquer all over yourself? Moving on. Well, I mean, it's possible. People like it. Uh, so another, we got a very interesting tip by uh, Carrie from uh, Fountain Pen. Pen Day. Thank you, Carrie. Uh, he he uh, told us that the Visconti Visconti Pinin Farina, it's that pen they made with the retractable nib, mm -hmm. uh, is there's going to be a a new uh, uh, finish, I suppose, uh, uh, nanotech. And uh, now this is available at Fountain Pen Hospital, um, and it's an alloy and stainless steel finish. It is this is kind of hilarious, though. This coming up part. Sorry. Yeah, it's treated with carbon nanotubes and silver ions. I don't that really... kind of sounds like the Delta Fusion nib bit, where it or makes like it... advanced ceramium <laughs> yeah. technology. Found pen you makers are coming up with all kinds of creative stuff. What it looks like is, I guess, a matte, silvery, uh, yeah, aluminum colored version of the very dark gray. I mean, all of these are words. Nano, tubes, silver, ions. I mean, they're all words. Um, I'm guessing that the ions are sticking to the carbon on the body somehow. Anyway. Somehow. Some, something. So maybe... I don't know. I've not used the, the, the regular one, the, the black one, so I don't even know you know, how it works or what it's like or... Well, it's a fascinating thing. Is pen. it heavy? I, um, You've used it, right? Well, you, I have held it in Florence and, excuse me, <coughs> I have a cold. This is why there was no pen o'clock used last, yeah. last week. Because he was gross. Anyway, I've held one. It's, uh, I, I thought it was a nice pen. It looks nice, but it's very expensive. And I, I uh, this one is no different. I guess. No, this one's no different. And this one is limited to only 930. The nibs do range from extra fine to broad, and there's a stub, so you do have a lot of nib options. That's nice. The Y9 903 rollerballs should ar arrive late February, but the list price is $2,500. Um, and Fountain Hospital sells it for nineteen ninety five. That is not nineteen dollars ninety five. That is one thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars. Yeah. You have to be very explicit, otherwise people will try to sue us. Probably. So uh, that's something. That's a lot of uh, money. Yeah, lots of uh, expensive pens. It this is. Week. It does at least the the the. I, I, wasn't it called car? Carbon or graphite? Anyway, the, the the old gray one did come in a very cool tube packaging. I mean, a lot of thought went into it, but I did think it was very pricey for, for what it was. It is but, it is cool, but again, maybe this is like the St. Dupont, where you know you might you might be interested in unique pen materials or um, interested in collecting a certain type of pen or something like that. Or just yeah, presentation. Yeah, on the other hand, I mean, I'm cool, but people don't pay two thousand dollars to get me. No comment. All right. Anyway, so here is what we thought. We thought that this rounds up the pen o'clock news. I think so. I think this I think rounds so it up too. pretty well. Yeah. Check out our respective websites for any interesting updates. Yeah. Thank you, and for checking out our websites because we appreciate your readership and viewership and support. Unfortunately, 
Professor Dr. Tarquin Danglebury was not available to do the word of the week. And although Wendy is here... Well, the professor really needed a vacation. Yeah. He was getting a little frazzled. And Wendy here may be here, but actually he's asleep. He showed so, up at a meeting with no pants on, so... Yes, it's very strange. And Wendy here had a tough night. He said, well, an interesting bird. So the only thing we have left is someone else to present you with the word of the week. That's what we're going to do next. I hope that's going to be useful. It probably won't be. Probably won't and, be. Not, um, not with the presenter that is going to be yes. here. Yes. He should be here any minute, and uh, I think we need to put on, like, hazmat suits for it, so... <laughs> but... We'll gladly see you later. Yes, thank you for your support. Yay! Bye! Oh my god, that was terrifying. Okay. I was trying to imitate a... Uh, I'm going to take my leave now. A pig. Farewell. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, hi, this is Mel Cuckfield. Today, I will give you the word of the week. The word of the week is like button. It's a button you can click when you like this video. But if you don't like the video, you don't have to click it. But if you do like it, you can click it, but it's not like anyone is forcing you. <laughs> it's consensual, you see. Alright. Now, while I have you here, I thought I would come up with a new segment on the show where I give you tips on what to do when you're bored, if you're like me and you have a lot of spare time, you may get bored. So I thought I would give you some suggestions, and I'm gonna call that Cucking with Mel. I already have the theme song, are you ready? Cucking with Mel. Ah. All right, here is the first tip. You can call a real estate agent and tell him you want to have a look at an apartment and set up an appointment, but take some falafel balls in your pocket. Then, when you enter the apartment, tell him you want to feel the vibe of the place for yourself for a second so that he will leave. Then, or she, it could also be a female real estate agent. When he leaves, take the falafel balls from your pockets and stuff them in all the drains in the apartment. Then leave. Uh, that was cucking with Mel. Let's do it one more time. All together. Cucking with Mel. Ah. Uh. It's all of us here today on Pen O'Clock News. It's me and Wendy and you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should start again. Okay, wait, wait. That was the bar, the thing that they do. <sighs> the bar? Yeah, the movies. Okay, wait, wait. Let's start again. Hello! I think now we need to start again. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, let's make a... It, like, indicate something so that when you're editing this, you know where to delete from. I mean, where to not delete from, okay? Oi, why are you throwing me around <coughs> like that? Hello and welcome to another exciting new episode of The Pen O'Clock News. <gasps> Let's start again. Okay. And we'll call it Cooking with Mill. I even have the theme song. It goes like this. Cooking with Mill. <laughs> there was something in my throat, sorry. All right. <laughs> sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't do that.